hello everyone how are you all doing in this video we are going to talk about battery drain yeah it's been a long time that we have talked about battery drain and especially on older iphones ios 26 has been a rough place to be on especially for older devices actually for new ones as well but especially for older devices as those are the devices which are suffering the most hardware is aging day by day batteries deteriorating day by day the features are getting added and a lot of things are getting changed which devices like iphone 12 11 and all these devices are suffering a lot and i know if you're watching this video you probably own one of those let's get right in today's video and talk about how has been my experience and is there any way you can fix the battery drain which is going on right now all right so iphone 12 is one of the device i use the most than my iphone 11 and apart from that i have stopped using my iphone 14 pro because it apparently fell from 15th floor in between the lift gap yeah i know that sounds very crazy if you guys want a video on story time on how i managed to do this do let me know down in comments below i will be coming up with a video on that anyways getting back to the topic the battery life on these older devices is really rough right now really bad not gonna lie it is getting better as we get new updates so don't don't think twice before updating if you are already on ios 26 which you probably are now that you have made this mistake of getting on to ios 26 just don't stop yourself from updating and thinking that it, it will just slow my device more don't worry it's just gonna get better i know it's really bad and you probably think it's gonna get worse but no trust me it is getting better from update to update i have myself noticed that uh, the updates have made my device noticeably better in terms of battery life the heating overheating and battery drain are two things which are like uh is equal to each other because when your device overheat the battery it apparently just deteriorates even more and then you get performance throttling all of these things are just linked to each other so number one thing which you can do to fix this is just keep on updating your device if you are already on ios 26 don't think twice update your device keep your device up to date because it's gonna get better trust me it is getting better since day one i have noticed a big change and if you're planning on upgrading your device when the next iphone 18 comes out or you are planning on using your device for an year or two more then i would definitely recommend that if your battery health which is probably uh, at service mode go ahead and replace that battery life get yourself get your iphone a new battery trust me your iphone is gonna thank you because and you are gonna love using your iphone because trust me when i say performance battery life and everything gets like at least 10 times better and i have myself noticed this i have one of my iphone uh, 12 right now i have two iphone 12s one is with the 75 percent battery health the other is at 79 i am planning on changing the battery of that other iphone so do let me know down in comments below do you guys want a side by side comparison on how much better battery life and performance does your phone get after replacing the battery because trust me i have noticed this i have been using iphone for a very long time and battery changing the battery makes your iphone a whole lot better but of course i know a lot of you guys may be thinking that come on it's been so long i have been using this device i don't want to invest another hundred dollars another ten thousand on the battery i will just get it from a third party store you can do that but trust me especially in india if you are watching it from india there are a lot of people who fake it and it's better to use a deteriorated or original apple battery instead of a fake one anyways getting back to the topic is there any software tweaks which you can do to like optimize the battery yes you can definitely do some things number one is turn off 5g don't keep it on auto settings turn it off completely because when you keep it on auto it will apparently use the best time when to switch to 5g when to not but just stop using 5g because 5g drains battery like crazy and when i say that i mean it it just drains battery 
so quickly and sometimes it's not even providing a good speed you are getting better speeds on 4g apart from that background app refresh you can turn that off or turn it off for certain applications try to be on wi-fi more and uh, most importantly try to not keep your phone around sun and yeah to be very honest there aren't a lot of software things which you can do the best thing which i would recommend is to get yourself a new battery or upgrade to a new iphone of course that's what apple wants you to do right anyways and just try to not get your iphone's battery replaced from third party if you are getting it done then make sure to check the reviews of the place or maybe check the how they are replacing the batteries if they are authentic or not because trust me using a fake battery can get you in trouble and maybe it will just uh, make you spend even more well, that's pretty much it for today's video thank you so much for watching with this video till the end until then this is me jay aka tech hyped and i am signing off peace out